Let us have a healthy spirit. In the third John verse 2 say, Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in good health, just as your soul prosper. We spend a lot of time and energy taking care of our physical body. We want to feel good, but we don't spend enough time taking care of our soul and our spirit. We don't realize how much our emotions, our attitudes, our thoughts are affecting us physically. I want to encourage you today to pay attention to your inner life. It is easy to adapt to things that are poisoning us and we don't realize it. We end up going through life just treating the symptoms. If we get to the root cause and get our soul or our spirit healthy, we can have good health and good success. Therefore, Please learn to worship God, to spend time with God, to pray, to receive the word, to listen to good teaching, and to repent of your sin. We need to ask ourselves, am I making myself sick? Am I sabotaging my relationships? Am I limiting my potential, holding myself down because my soul is unhealthy? The writer of the book of Hebrew say, see to it that no one falls short of the grace of God and that no bitter root grow up to cause trouble and defy many. It describes bitterness as a root. You cannot see a root because it's underground, but if you let it grow, it's going to spring forth. Bitter root produce bitter fruit. What is inside will show up on the outside. Often, we only try to fix the fruit, but the fruit is not the problem. We need to deal with more than just symptoms. We need to go to the source and get rid of the bad root in our life. We need to feed our spirit with the word of God and get rid of the bitterness. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23 say, Guard your heart above all else, for it determines the cause of your life. One of our main responsibility is to keep the toxin out, keep those roots of bitterness from springing up. Offenses are going to come. Cranky co-workers will come. You cannot stop disappointments, hurt, jealousy, and anger from coming. The question is, are you going to let them take root, get down in your spirit, contaminate your joy, steal your peace, take your energy, and open you up to sickness, trouble, and defeat? No, keep your soul healthy. You have to be an active gardener. Pull up those roots. Pull up the unforgiveness. Pull up the insecurity. Pull up the guilt and condemnation and feed yourself with the truth, the word of God, the love of God, and you shall prosper. Don't let your soul become poisoned. If your soul is bitter, your life will be better. If your emotional well-being is contaminated, it's going to affect your physical well-being. What can you do differently to keep and get your soul healthy? Let us declare, I will turn everything over to God, getting rid of anything that is holding me back. I declare that I am digging up roots of bitterness and releasing all worry, anger, hurt, and disappointment. I will trust in God to transform me and create me in me a clean heart. I declare that as my soul prosper, strength, health, and new opportunities are coming. In Jesus' name, I'm going to only receive the truth and the good things from God, and I will get rid of all the bad things from my heart. I would like to pray with you that God will help us to have the healthy spirit or healthy soul. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you today with a humble heart, ready to open our heart, our soul, to your healing touch. We acknowledge the need to be truthful with ourselves and pay attention to our inner life, our spirit, our soul. In this moment, we surrender every burden and obstacle we are facing. We are turning them over to you in faith. We declare that we are uprooting bitterness and releasing all the worries, the anger, the hurt, the disappointments that are weighting us down. We choose to put our trust in you, Lord, knowing that you have the power to transform us from the inside out. Please cleanse our heart. Help us to forgive and fill us with your peace, joy and favor and protection. As our soul prosper, our life will prosper. We believe and pray in Jesus' name. Amen.